Hello everyone, I'm Don White from the Department of Communication and Languages. You're probably feeling a little bit nervous right now about the ways you're going to have to engage with your professors and your classmates during this time of online learning. This is totally normal and it's called communication apprehension. Communication apprehension occurs when we feel a little bit anxious or hesitant to communicate with people. It generally happens with public speaking, but it can happen in interpersonal communication interactions as well. Everybody has CA. Some people have very low CA, but some people have very high CA. So know that you're not alone in your nervousness. Some of the reasons for this nervousness are feelings of judgment. Um, perhaps you're being graded for your presentation. Maybe you don't feel ready, or you just feel kind of uh, generally anxious. So there's two kinds of communication apprehension. There's trait, CA, and that's part of your personality. You're generally nervous in most communication situations. There's also state CA, and this occurs when we're just sort of in the moment, um, maybe right before a speech. Both types of CA are important to keep in mind and recognize that they have many symptoms or manifestations of CA. As you can see from this image, there are a lot of symptoms of CA. Take a moment to pause it and recognize what symptoms occur to you when you're giving a speech or interacting with someone. It's important to identify your symptoms and then that's a good way to figure out how you can manage your symptoms next time you're in that situation. Now let's talk about the management of CA. There are a number of ways you can manage your symptoms and notice that I didn't say eliminate your symptoms or overcome CA. You're always going to experience a little bit of it, but I think the term management makes a little more sense in this context. So if you notice that you get really warm during presentations or speaking with someone, dress lightly or dress in light layers so that you can remove some layers and feel cooler. If your mouth gets dry, have some water on hand so you can drink that. If you turn red, wear red. Sometimes the red in your shirt takes away a little bit of the red from your face and it's not as noticeable. So there are lots of different ways to, to manage those symptoms and some other techniques include deep breathing, meditation, visualize yourself doing well, uh, practice, that is uh, really essential, and know that everybody, including your professor and your classmate, want you to succeed. So if you're feeling nervous, you're feeling some communication apprehension symptoms, know that everybody else in your class, including your professor, is feeling them too. Good luck, everybody.